Local news tonight, people of many faiths all over the world are celebrating Ash Wednesday today. It marks the official start of the Lenten season. And one religion isn't allowing those in our area to receive wine at church during this time. Stephanie Sanasazi is live now and explains the recent health crisis behind this decision. Stephanie. Yeah, Kim and Latricia, well, that all comes down to the flu, but I want you to understand where we are right now. We're in on the walking bridge in downtown Chattanooga. Right now, they are setting up here. One of the local churches is setting up so people can come get their ashes. If you haven't already got them already, they'll be here tonight till 8 o'clock. Millions of Christians all over the United States go to church on this day to mark the beginning of Lent. For Catholics and other Protestant denominations, the next 40 days are a time of reflection. It's getting ourselves ready to welcome Christ. But for all parishes in the Diocese of Knoxville, this Ash Wednesday was a little different than those in years past. Bishop Sticka just last week announced due to the severity of the flu outbreak this year that we would suspend the distribution of Holy Communion under the species of, of wine of the, the precious blood. I think for safety's sake, I think it's a right decision. Normally during a Catholic Mass, people drink wine from the same cup. In addition to the wine, Bishop Sticka is also asking that parishioners keep their distance during the sign of peace, a time when people usually greet each other by shaking hands or hugging. We plan here at the Basilica to do that all the way through the Easter season. Local doctors believe this could help keep people in the pews healthy given the severity of this flu season. Doctors say the flu can spread not only by coughs or sneezes, but also personal contact like saliva. Commissioner Cindy Thomas understands the risk the flu poses, even though it changes her Ash Wednesday tradition. No, it has not changed anything as long as you're able to receive the body of Christ. That's, that's all right with me. St. Mark's and St. Elmo churches are out here in different locations throughout the area giving people ashes. You'll see this is some of the ashes right here that people can come and get, especially right here on the walking bridge. Once you do get that, or even if you're just walking by, you can also get some of the sweets that they have out here on these tables. So again, till 8 o'clock tonight, if you want to get your ash, come on out here. Reporting live in Chattanooga, Stephanie Sanastasi, News Channel 9. Stephanie, thank you. And Bishop Sticka did not tell the priest when he would lift this directive. So churches are advised to follow these rules until further notice. The flu is to blame for 20.